but the fire that we had is all gone. Secret spot that I've been sworn to secrecy, but I can't tell you where it is. Otherwise, the cameraman behind my ass. <laughs> but um, let's see what we get out there, right? The smell of your perfume. Remember, I remember. Five dash two. of our labor for boys and 13 girls and normally we wouldn't take the girls but as you can see on the video yeah they're all they're all size um, but yeah there was a big struggle to find any any males that were size right so I thought I'd just show you how to measure them as, as I said before we've got a lot of females we've got 13 females and uh, four males but normally we wouldn't take the females but as you saw in the video it was pretty hard to get us to find any males that were size 
Um, and the reason why we don't take females is because generally they've got a lot of row and it'll be all in this area here. It'll be orange or a, a yellow um, eggs. And you, you can really see it's quite voluptuous in there. Voluptuous, is that a good word to use? Voluptuous, we're using that word anyway. Um, full, yeah, there you go, full. Uh, it'll be full of um, row in there, so we don't take those and you can take that to the bank. We definitely don't take any, egg, any crabs that have got row on them. But to measure them, you've got a simple measuring tool here. It's 127 mil from uh, point to point, so from that point to that point. And just to show you, if I can get in, if you can see it properly, so from point there, can't do it. From there, you can see on this side, on this side, <laughs> be retarded. Um, it's well and truly over. You can see where my wrist is there. The size is well and truly over. And all of them that we caught, like I said, are definitely on size. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to point out that the reason why we took these females was because it was it was quite tricky to find any males out there that were size. But this is just to explain if anyone was going to complain about us having any females because it is legal to take them. It's just you can't take them when they're in when they're in row when they're fertilising. So that's what we've done. Crab cooking 101. <laughs> hot water, hot, hot water. So we want to bring it to the boil and we want to salt it because if it comes out of the ocean, you want it to be flavoured salty. So I always put a heap of salt in. So just one. Now I'm hoping that we'll get the full lot in the one batch, so I'm going to do it quite salty. I'm going to put three scoops in. Alright, put the lid back on and wait until it comes to the boil. Alright, so we had to change pots because the big pot was taking way too long to come to the boil. But now we're in a smaller pot, we're now boiling. So crabs are going in. Uh, I can get about seven crabs in, I think. So in they go. One, two. Seven. Now uh, let's push it. Let's push the boundaries and put eight in. Eight, that's hot. Alright. And then what we want to do is he goes down, put the lid back on and wait for it to come to the boil again. Alright, they've come to a boil again. So now I put the lid on and we let it go for 8 minutes. And just so everyone knows, we didn't just stick them in there, we actually just batched up them humanely so they didn't even... Alright, and we're done. So now, <laughs> out come the cooked ones. So that's it for another video. Hope you guys liked it. Um, if you do, please like and share the video. Um, and I'll be honored if you subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, keep abreast of all the exciting stuff that we're gonna be doing um, throughout the year. But I'm gonna leave it right now. Be good, and I'll catch you on the next video. See ya.